Do you think that th there's, there's an element of, of something already feeling historical about these works, given that some people say that newspapers are already a threatened, potentially defunct medium and you're using headlines? <laughs> It's, I think it's, it's true in the sense well, that the, the posters will never be like they have been. There, there are fewer posters. The, the ones that look like handwriting, the evening standard ones, were, were, are finished. They sacked the two men who, who did it for the last 40 years. The local newspapers have fewer posters. The evening standard used to have four or five different posters per day as the news changed, as the different editions came out. Now I think we have the golden age of newspaper posters in these pictures. Even because we do believe everything is memory. If it's only what is now, it's only for one second, no? if not all the past, it's all past. Even we were able, we were able after to take these amazing images of ghosts. No? It feels like we are ghosts of the city, like, because we were able to fading in and fading out, that it's not us alone anymore, it's just some parts of us appearing, no? like some pieces of the body or something like that. That's what, uh, and that came because from... Of the because of the windows. We were able to take images of ourselves outside on the street. But even the and other one, with this cutout one. Yes, and then we realised that the back of the person was also in the front room window to take an image of each other on the street. And one evening, we were doing all these images, one evening we were watching television and they were talking about Lord Doubting and he believed in ghosts. You know? Although he didn't use the term ghost, yeah. but yeah. And that we did, saw did that's an extraordinary idea that we see these images coming forward, you know, of these dead soldiers, that he had these big parties in the evening of dead soldiers who just did, did died. Did he try and put relatives in touch with, with, their, yes. with, with their loved ones? Yes, of course. We, we, have, we have all the books. We brought all the books in. It's, it's absolutely fascinating. And, and people can talk forever about how, what, was he a disturbed person or what, was it a hoax or spiritualistic or not spiritual? Was he a theosophist? He was also a vegetarian and... Was he a crank and things? The only thing he could never have been was a liar. So we must believe that some of the experience was true. And of course, if you think of people who have long gone, we have something remaining in our minds. Eh? Every long dead yes. aunt, we have part of them. Some parts. We, ha we have photographs, we have letters, we have memories. We can sometimes hear a gramophone record playing and somebody from the past will come back. So to take that into the next world, which would be Lord Dowding's world, is not so far-fetched in a way. And after all, he won the Battle of Britain. That's what Thanks to Lord Dowding, your mother didn't get raped by Nazis. <laughs> <laughs>